G'day guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are starting it off we're outside. It is currently Sunday and well, tomorrow is Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. I've got Monday off, Tuesday off and Wednesday off because I've got Monday, well, tomorrow curriculum day, then Tuesday Melbourne Cup and then Wednesday I've got a uh, cup for the town that I go to school. So me and some of the school boys have organised to go to the city today. That's why I'm up nice and early. It's currently 9.30, so heading to the bus stop. Gonna catch a bus to the train. And then, yeah, we're gonna go into the city for the day and then later on go to the MBL. I'm not the biggest fan of the MBL myself, but just to uh, yeah, get out of the house and go into the city with some of the schoolmates, which I don't really do uh, stuff with too often. So yeah, just currently walking to the train and should be a ripper day. Central here at the Rebel in Melbourne Central. It's pretty, it's pretty shitty because there's only basketball and soccer stuff here. However, Scotty's gonna cop a few things. He's got 12k in the bank. He's got money to spend. Who's carry picks up a top? Yeah, he's, he's, he's picked up two Gertzies. That's over <laughs> nearly 300 bucks. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna get these. So, yeah, a bit of a shopping spree for the big man. But here at the NBA, uh, NBA section, because there's some bloody clean Gertzies here that I wouldn't mind for summer. However, I'm bloody poor, so um, yeah, probably won't be getting much. All right, we're going to the basketball. Big man's got his Phoenix jumper. Yes, I've got a, I just purchased a uh, Charlotte Hornets hat from Rebel. It's bloody clean for the summer. So um, yeah, haven't been to the basketball in a good three years since 2019, and that was a United game. That's all I've ever been to. So um, yeah, second NBL game. Hopefully it's a ripper. First time in an NBL game since 2019. And, well, genuinely, I didn't think there would be as many people here. I thought it would be a pretty dead crowd, but it's decent. I think John Kane can hold just over 10,000, and probably not gonna be a sellout, but probably close to 10,000. Uh, we're in decent seats, up in general admission, but the tickets are so expensive. So 30 bucks for a general admission position isn't the greatest, however, yeah, hopefully, well, we are cheering on for Adelaide because everyone else here is going for Melbourne. Plays 85. Timeout, I think, what, two and a half minutes left? I think just under three minutes. 85 apiece. And look, Phoenix have been up all day. They probably deserve it, but 
Hopefully Adelaide can get up. Come on, Adelaide. Yeah. 87 place, 88. A minute left. What? 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 87, 88, 56 seconds. Phoenix are down by a point. 17 seconds. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine seconds left. Nine seconds left. It's 90 to 88. If he gets it, they'll be up by three. Yeah! They gotta go. Time out. So they just got a tech foul. Adelaide's free throw. They just got a tech. Okay. And then the ball goes back to them as well. So. Okay. Okay. No way. It couldn't have turned out a better game. And then they get the ball as well. Two points. Three point seven seconds, and it's ninety-one to ninety-one. Will we go to overtime? Will we? Will we go to overtime? There's three point nine seconds. Three point nine seconds. Now. It's overtime. It's overtime. What a game to be at. It is overtime. Well, Baz has to regret this. If you're watching this, Baz. <laughs> oh my God. There's no way. There's no way. I thought I would come here for a boring NBL game, but 91 91. We're going to overtime. Defense. Defense. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Gave you a run for your money though. They were up by about 20 nearly. And well that you nearly bloody choked. <laughs> Oi! I got that on camera, but I'm gonna sue you. Anyway, we're getting hungry jacks for dinner. Uh, just before we go home. Famous hungry jacks at Southern Cross. Just got a small feed, got some chips and a coke no sugar, so uh, yeah. Alright. New day, 8.45, it's the Monday. We've got a curriculum day today. And we went to bed at nearly, like, just before three. We got just over five hours sleep. And 8.30, you, on a curriculum day, we're waking up at 8.30, going to the city. So, um, yeah, buddy, yeah, we are on the grind. We're going to go get a feed in the city because we haven't uh, had any food yet this morning. We had a protein bar, but that's about it. So, walking to the train, train's in about 20 minutes. Then, yeah, it takes 20 minutes to get to the city and then maybe grab a BLT, that's what I'm feeling, I reckon. A BLT from a nice cafe and then, yeah, got a train just past three o'clock, so hanging out in the city for pretty much the whole day. Bunch of bloody fat people at the moment. Look at 
is we're getting breaky. Scotty's got two burgers. And he's got three. It's, three. it's ten in the morning. It's ten in the morning. We've had like, we didn't have breakfast, but it, we've had like this is our fourth fast food meal in the past twenty four hours. Yeah, it's, it's just not good, but who cares? It's off season. We'll be right. All right, so we're in Emporium, and look, I don't have money, but Scotty is going to shout me a Hornets. I'm officially a bloody Hornets fan now. This colour, I oh, know, it's just something about the colour. It's just elite. So we're in the like proper NBA store in Emporium. Everything here is just elite. So I'm going to try this on and hopefully cop a Lamello ball kit as well. And we cop the Lamello ball guernsey. So summer drip is bloody coming together, baby. Look at this NBA store. It's Sweet, Sweet. A NBA drip is just elite. So now we're going to maybe head to Meyer, the big Meyer on Burke Street. Just you know, fuck around, see what's there. Then we're going to go to Richmond and we're going to try and find some Prime um, if it's not sold out. Because I reckon Prime's are red hot at the moment, so it could be sold out. And then we want to go to DFO as well, see what maybe little shops we can find, maybe get a few cheap things. But uh, yeah. All right, so we're in Meyer now, just across the road from Emporium. And I genuinely don't know how I've never been in this section of Maya. I've been to this massive Maya that many times and we're in the bottom bottom level and there's it's just a whole sports section. There's champion Calvin Klein, AFL store, New Balance. There's literally everything you can ask for here and I've never, never bloody seen it. Alright, out of Maya. Now we're in Richmond. We took a 20 minute tram out here. I've never been in these parts of Richmond, so hopefully we don't get shanked. But there is where Prime should be. Australian sports nutrition. I've, I know a few people who have got prime from there before. The wind's starting to pick up. It's not too great away there. It's really humid, but it's not cold. So um, hopefully, just hopefully, fingers crossed, they have prime. Want some prime? Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for that. No worries. See ya. I think this is actually one of the good flavors. So I remember I tried it with Sunny once. I think this is one of the good flavors. Lemon lime, I generally, okay. All right, let's give it a test. All right, who's going first? Prime, first taste. Oh, that's it's so really good. sweet, isn't it? Oh, that's so good. I haven't had it in ages. No, that's good. Scotty? Oh, that's good. Ooh, that is good. <laughs> oh, that's different. All right, first, well, not first taste, but first, like, proper taste. I've had it before. Jeez, all right. What do you think? It's just like, it's just cordial. It genuinely just tastes like cordial. It's nothing like... Mmm, no, because it's better. Yeah, way better. But because it's made from KSI, it's better, so... Yeah, no, W. W. Sick. Not a weekly log without being a goshers. We got our prime. Our prime's here. And I'm going to change in to the white prime train shorts and the new Lamello ball singlet. And we're going to get into some goal kicking because, um, yeah, we have a goal kicking challenge at school that we do. So we're going to continue it here and see who can, um, yeah, get the uh, get the chockies done. So, yeah, it's bloody windy though. It's windy, so it's going to be hard one to win. However, at this end because that end's taken up, but probably better at this end because the wind's helping us out. Friday weekly vlog home from the city. It's just before six o'clock. It is still the Monday. Everyone's out trick or treating. I got off the bloody bus about maybe like an hour and a bit ago. And just the whole town was full of people just trick-or-treating. Um, I completely forgot it was a ha uh, Halloween. Anyway, we've got the souvenir up there. We've got, the, we've got the prime bottle. And look, I've got nothing. So me and Scotty, we're going to hop on Omega and we're going to just keep on switching through until we find each other. So um, yeah, honestly, just a chill chill night, a normal night. Something that anyone would do. Not uh, exactly an AFL YouTuber. So we're going to hop on Omega. Um, Common Interests Australia, and let's see who we can find. This is great for the weekly vlog, so... Hi, so, so Phil has COVID. Al has COVID. Al has COVID. So, this could be, be a COVID off. house. <laughs> this could be a COVID-filled house. Phil tested positive this morning. Stress about it, Al. Okay. And Al be now, we're just eating dinner before, like, 25, <laughs> 20, 25 minutes ago. Well, let's do a test, let's see.